This government shutdown is ridiculous and it's sad. Dear Congress, I think that you should write a check out of your own personal paychecks to pay back the $300 million a day that you're losing the American people. I want to tell Washington, everyone from the President to Congress, get your job done. We voted you in there not to sit around, get paid, and do nothing. To the people in Washington, D.C., throw up. All week long, we've been asked what you would tell Washington. We're going to get the roundtables take in just a moment. First, let's get a response to Speaker Boehner from Senator Chuck Schumer, part of the Democratic leadership team in the Senate. Senator, thanks for joining me uh, morning. this morning. You heard Speaker Boehner right there. He is not going to put uh, a clean vote for a, a clean government funding resolution on the floor, not going to put a vote for a clean debt limit extension on the floor unless the Democrats start to negotiate. Well, first, uh, the Speaker said there aren't the votes on the floor to reopen the government. Let me issue him a friendly challenge. Put it on the floor Monday or Tuesday. I would bet there are the votes to pass it. Um, we have just about every Democrat. 21 Republicans have publicly said they would. There are many more Republicans who have said that they privately would. So, Speaker Vayner, just vote. Put it on the floor and let's see if you're right. On the debt ceiling, I think there's a bit of posturing going on here. The, to have us default could, and there's a pretty high chance, send us into a recession deeper than the one in 2008, George, for a very simple reason. Once the markets have to mark down a major security they hold, in 2008 it was housing securities, now it's U.S. Treasuries held more widely, then banks' balance sheets get all out of whack, people stop lending, interest rates go up, lines of credit freeze, and you risk a depression. I believe Speaker Boehner will not do that when push comes but, but to shove. But isn't the posturing senator on, on, on both sides, perhaps? I mean, the president's pretty is saying at this point that negotiating over the debt limit is worse. The consequences are worse than actual default. He's playing with fire there, isn't he? Well, I think they're playing with fire. You don't negotiate over something like the Other debt Other presidents have done because it. No, the one time that it was really done in this kind of way, not just, well, it was a deadline and you had to decide abortion or something else, was in 2011. We went right up to the deadline. The stock market lost 2,000 points. Uh, $18 billion was lost by the American people. And in that case, the markets didn't believe it was true. Now they are because of their brinksmanship on uh, federal spending and because of the kind of language Speaker Boehner used. So this could, you could actually have the consequences de of default a day or two before it actually occurs. This is playing with fire. And we are happy to negotiate. But we want to negotiate without a gun to our head. Speaker Boehner comes in and he says, basically, uh, it's sort of like this. Uh, someone goes into your house, takes your wife and children hostage, and then says, let's negotiate over the price of your house. You know, we could do the same thing on immigration. We, could, we believe strongly in immigration reform. We could say we're shutting down the government. We're not going to raise the debt ceiling until you pass immigration but reform. It would be governmental chaos. I know you believe, Mr. Uh, Senator, that the Speaker is going to blink, that the House Republicans are going to blink. But if they do not, then what happens on October 17th? Is it really preferable to have all those consequences of default than to have a negotiation? Well, the kind of negotiation you have is one with a gun held to your head, and you just can't do it, and it'll lead to a future negotiation like that and a future one. If you go for this kind of hostage-taking once, and the president did in 2011, it doesn't go away. It comes back worse and worse and worse, and the whole full faith and credit in the United States currency and the United States dollar goes down the drain. It's the damage is far greater than the damage that uh, Speaker Boehner seeks to undo by somewhat reducing the budget deficit. And we're willing to talk to him about budget deficit. Leader Reid already gave him his budget number uh, when we talked about the resolution about funding the government. We gave in to his number. And then he said Obamacare. He keeps throwing different things at the wall. And we know the reason why. Ted Cruz and the hard right Republicans uh, are holding him hostage, in effect. And right up to now, he hasn't had the courage or strength to resist them. Sooner or later, he'll be forced to, particularly on the debt ceiling, because the business community, which still has some weight with mainstream Republicans, if not the Tea Party, will put huge clout on him. And as we get closer, the blame will fall on Speaker Boehner and the Republican Party for this upcoming but disaster. That could go on. They'll have to back off. But that could go on for several days. Senator Schumer, thanks very much Thank for your you. time this morning.